Hi, I'm Jonathan Underwood, and I'm doing my presentation on identity theft. Here's some ways of identity theft can be used. Identity theft is someone else stealing someone else's identity and assuming that it is that other person, getting access to all the victim's resources. According to the text, identity theft describes various crimes in which a criminal or a large, well-organized criminal group uses identity theft of the unknown innocent person. Some issues on identity theft. Identity theft is one of the world's largest crimes and growing more and more every day. Identity theft is an international crime. So if you were to ever have your identity stolen, the thief can use your name in many different passports or other international valuables and you would never even know. More than 15 million people become victims every year. Here's a few hacking scams. One of the world's popular hacking scams out today is phishing and farming. These two scams are most used by thieves around the world today. Phishing scam. Warn that there has been a high breach in security of your bank or PayPal. And as for farming scam, ways to lure people onto fake websites where the thieves could collect personal data. Some more. Posting job sites. Thieves can uh, collect addresses, social security numbers, birth dates, and your work history and most of the details that can get them access to adopt the identity of your job seeker. So you must be careful when you are filling out job applications online. Identity theft use. Thieves can buy very expensive merchandise and put them all on your credit card, causing you to have very bad credit. When your identity is stolen, they have access to your social security number and they can change your name overnight without you having a clue. Most people find out years later that their identity has been stolen and victims can be charged millions of dollars on their credit due to identity theft. Some more identity theft uses. Thieves can get information by using your bank information or PayPal account. If you need to respond to your bank to determine whether someone else is misusing your account or not. The thieves. Thieves cannot literally become you. It's nearly impossible to do. But there are thieves that can take your information and try to make themselves look similar to you just to make sure they're in the clear. As you can see the picture right there, the guy holding his face. My identity. My identity was stolen and is still under investigation today. Almost two years ago, my father had tried to claim me on his income tax and it, and it showed that my identity was taken. Somebody is making thousands of dollars by using my name and claiming me as their child. More about my identity. Having my identity stolen really opened my eyes to the word identity theft. I had no clue how someone was able to get my identity. There was nobody else that would even know my social security number but my parents. It was hard for me to understand how but I looked online and it showed millions of cases on identity theft and how long and a long list on how your identity can be stolen. So more about my identity. In order for someone to claim me on their income tax, they must have these things. My social security number, access to my birth certificate, and must know my father and mother's maiden name and date of birth. Someone out there knows my whole life and I have no clue who it may be, which is very scary. Here are some ways to keep safe. Um, 
for not, you know, for bringing your identity to not be taken like mine. Um, always paper shred all identifying documents, bank slips, etc. Shop online. Secure websites only. Do not fall for phishing scams. Always know that your telephone scams can get you as well. Beware. Keep your computer anti-spyware and antivirus up to date at all times. Some more ways. Ways you can check your credit reports at your bank are online a couple times a week. Secure your most important documents. Always beware of your social security number at all times. Be careful with your mail. More ways. Most people focus on criminal groups who use hacking and other means to commit identity theft. But your family members and your close friends can be responsible for a, to be responsible for a percentage of identity theft. Many identity theft cases results from lost or stolen wallet or checkbooks. Just be careful about where you put your things at all times, especially your wallet or your checkbook. Future references, future issue. Social network, for example, thieves can get your information by sending you some kind of form saying that you have received a reward, like on Facebook or Twitter, and try to get your information. So if you fill out your information online, um, claiming that you want a reward, they, it may be a, you know, a result of identity theft. Your identity may be stolen. And as for me, I chose to do this. Uh, I chose to do identity theft uh, because my, obviously my identity has been stolen. And um, I feel like there's a need to share to everybody that um, identity theft is real. And um, that in, in anybody's identity can be stolen at any time. Um, the secure websites, they're starting to get more secure websites online. Um, so people won't get their identity stolen because now, nowadays, um, people are shopping more and more online. They're doing more things on computer, um, causing, you know, asking them for more information about them. And it's giving uh, thieves more access to steal your identity. So you just make sure um, on, on any websites or even if you're filling out jobs or even if you're just, you know, going anywhere, doing anything with your, your uh, driver's license or anything, just make sure you be careful on what you do with it, how you use it, who knows, and just make sure you stay safe and just be good. Thank you. I'm Jonathan Underwood.